Some of you asked us how to create an interactive timeline uh, in which you can scroll through dates and have some specific uh, information for, for each one. So let's see how it works. First, I'm going to design my screen and for that I'm going to insert my image which is quite big. So I'm going to add a mask to make it less high. And then I'm going to put it at the top of my screen. I'm going to use a color background which is related to the color of my image. And now I'm going to focus on my uh, dates. So I want my dates to be scrollable. So for that I'm going to use a scrolling area component. So let's insert my component and I'm going to make it like full width, horizontal and for the size of the content I'm going to make 1600. I'm not sure it's correct but it's going to be roughly uh, this figure. So now let's uh, insert my first text box which will be my first date. So I'm going to choose my font, the right size as well, and I'm going to type my first date. Now I'm going to just block and center my content to be perfectly sure it's, uh, it fits my needs. Then I'm going to copy past my text block and randomly I'm going to put the new date next to the previous one. I'm going to arrange everything after. So just let's copy past and change the figure each time. And I'm going to add a last one. Yeah, perfect. So now let's select all together and I'm going to reselect my first date, which will be really my reference. So then I can click on the align uh, button and every date will be aligned to the first one. Let's also reselect everything and click on the, uh, on the button to arrange the distance between each date. But the problem is that my last date is out of my uh, scrolling uh, zone. So I'm going to use the adjust content uh, property of my scrolling area to uh, adjust my, uh, my zone accordingly. So it seems to be nice. Let's save and have a look. So in the preview, it seems to be fine. I like it. It's like that. So for the description for each date, I'm going to use a specific state. So let's rename my first date and add the description for my, my date. So let's choose another font. Just a word about the font. If you have some custom fonts, don't hesitate to send them to us uh, and we'll add them to your account. So let's make it bigger, it's a bit tiny, great, and adjust center, middle, great. So when I'm done, I'm going to create another state, which will be linked to this first state to have some transition. So I click on the orange button and I'm going to re-change the name, and for this one I'm going to type Another description. And then I'm going to do a third time. I'm just going to do three dates with you. It's just to give you uh, some example. But after you will be able to do it by yourself. Okay, so now I have my, my three dates. 
But now I want that on each date uh, I can see clearly which date is selected. So I'm gonna use all other date and put them in grey. So just my first date will be black. So I'm gonna go to the other state and for the second one I'm gonna make the first date grey and make it black. Perfect and do it the last time. Just change the selection. This is important like for my user to know clearly where they are and what they are doing. So okay, I have it seems to be fine. I have my visual highlights. I have the correct description. So let's have a look. Okay, great. Now I need to put my interaction so that when I go to each date, I have the correct uh, state that is displayed. So for that, I'm going to use some markers inside my scrolling area. And for that, I'm going to click the add position button. The first one that I'm going to create is the first date and I'm going to rename this. Okay. And I'm just going to move until my second date is perfectly at the middle of my screen. And then I'm going to click the add position button again and do it the last time for the date. These uh, markers can be adjusted if you have the correct position uh, using the edit button. So now I have my uh, markers, I can go to the other states and you will notice that they have also been created because everything you create on the first state will be linked to the other state and so uh, you just have to work once on the first state. So let's go back to the first state and then here create the interaction. So let's select the scrolling area and click the plus add action button. And here I find my three triggers um, based on my markers. So let's take the first one and change state to the first state. Let's do it with the second marker that goes to the second state. Let's do a third time. And go to the last state. So let's save. That's fine. It's exactly what I wanted to do. So now let's have a look on uh, my iPad preview. So when I go to the iPad, I notice that there is a scrolling bar that appears. Uh, it wasn't on my preview uh, because uh, Brother doesn't support a scrolling bar. But on my iPad, it's quite obvious and quite um, annoying. And also, scrolling is quite... Um, you know, it's quite fast and I really would like that every time I go through one date, it's really stop. And for that, it's really good because I have the magnetism uh, option. So now let's go back to my studio and in my uh, property windows of my scrolling area, I can have a look that there is like the option I'd scroll bar. I just need to click and uh, to tick so that it's removed. And for like my marker, I go to the uh, marker editing um, window and I just need to click on the little icon which is magnetism and it will automatically stop every time the scrolling area goes in front of this uh, marker. So let's, and now that's perfect, that's exactly what I wanted to do. So I hope that the one who are really interested in this example will find it useful and for the other one it will give them uh, some fresh ideas.